afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. We're off site today at the farm. I haven't been down here in a, in a while, so, or at least I haven't been down here filming in a while and figured this was a good excuse to bring one over here. It's a beautiful day. Got a nice van we're going to review today, the 2010 Road Trek 190 Popular. Uh, so down here at the farm where I get to, where I shoot sometimes. Got my two little buddies over there, Huey and Louie, that kind of took up residence here. Figure it'd be a good spot to take this. And plus, it's Saturday. A ton of customers on the lot. I wasn't going to be able to shoot one in peace anyway, so drive it down here. Just a couple of miles from the dealership anyway. But guys, it's a beautiful 2010 Road Trek 190. And it's the popular, so it's got the three seats. You know, great little camping van built on a Chevrolet 3500 chassis with a six liter Vortec V8, got 94,000 miles on it, which isn't bad for a van. You know, people that have these vans, they don't let them become driveway queens. They take them out and use them. And uh, they get great fuel mileage. You're gonna get around 14, 15 miles per gallon. You know, one thing, I, I drive a GMC conversion van myself. I do love the wheelbase. The, G, uh, the Chevrolet GMC's 3500s have an extra long wheelbase. You don't have a lot of uh, the body hanging out the back. It is 20 feet, five inches long total length. And does have a tow capacity according to specs of 8,100 pounds. Am I gonna put 8,100 pounds behind any van? No. I, but definitely, if it was me, I'd try to keep it around 5,000, maybe 5,500 max. I mean, it's your van, you do what you want to with it, but I'm just talking about personal experience. And you can see the van looks good all the way around. I mean, I see a little bit of stripe issues, but being a 12-year-old van, that's nothing unusual. And if that really bothers you, it's just mostly pinstripes. You can probably uh, buy, the, buy the stripes online to replace them or have somebody paint them. And what a day. This is my little lunch spot too. I'll take off and eat lunch down here sometimes just to kind of get away. And I'm gonna try to do some more videos down here too. It's just an awesome, awesome place right here. Very fortunate to find it a couple years ago. But anyway, got Firestone tires, 16, which in my opinion are the, are the best tires in the 16 inch you can get. It does have the ride right air suspension with a built in air compressor. So on the rear, so you've got rear airbags that you can lower and inflate from the cab. Let's look inside. Got a little bit of stripe issue on this side too. Does have a 2.8 Onan generator. It does run great. Only 120 hours. And you know, I didn't crank it up because you know, I didn't want to spoil the tranquility of this place. But it does work and I'll crank it up once we get inside. Uh, the third seat does give you a great spot to uh, carry a passenger and to um, make an extra bed if you need to. So this can actually sleep three. What you do is this seat will fold down. The front seat swivels around and it makes a little single bed. Now guys, just a quick thing. This is not rated for a car seat right here. So I know a lot of people will tell you that just to sell you a camper van. I'm not going to. Unfortunately, the Road Trek booster seats are not suitable for car seats. So I done checked into that before I bought mine because I was going to buy another buy another Class B for, for us to run around in, and that's what stopped me from doing it. But uh, after after our daughter was born, of course. But anyway, just like to point that out. Everything in here is original. Nothing's been modified. I don't think it's been a live-in unit. Uh, seats look great. The dash air is ice cold. 94,380 miles. This is your adjustable air suspension. You can go up to about 90 pounds or so in your airbags. Of course, you know, the, the lower the air pressure, the softer the ride. Uh, 40, 
45 pounds is probably where I would keep it just for everyday driving unless you're towing something. Of course, it is a road trek, so you do have your triple skylights. Got about a six foot one height clearance in here, so I can almost stand up. And uh, does have the solar surface countertops. Two burner stove top. Oh, got to reattach. Uh, obviously, we got to reattach that faucet. <laughs> I don't rehearse these things, guys. They are what they are. I'll fix that or I'll either fix it myself or have one of the guys fix it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's just loose. Somebody's put the wrong type faucet on there, so um, no big deal. Got a uh, refrigerator freezer, and this runs off of AC, DC, or propane. So it's a three-way. Should have a little freezer in it. Yep, got a little freezer, a little pop-down freezer. Not bad. Of course, we guarantee that to work. Generator switches up here, by the way. 120.8 hours. Prime it for a second. Fires right up. Also has a built-in 750-watt inverter switches right here. So you can cut it on. And that'll power, <clears throat> that'll power your fridge on AC when you don't want to run uh, the generator or you don't want to run on propane. Go ahead and cut that off. You do have a forward-facing sofa in the back. This is a power sofa that makes a bed. And it can make a full-size bed, a single bed just like it is. Push the button on the wall right here where my hand's at. You've got a double bed. You can take the table that's right here underneath this cushion. There's a table. It sits right here. And then you put these two cushions. you got two of these cushions. You put it across and make a king bed. And, of course, bed just folds right back up. So a versatile sleeping area. And um, you do have the cool cat. And that is a 11,000 BTU roof uh, or 11,000 BTU roof air, or not really a roof air, it's just a built-in air conditioner. She don't have a big air conditioner sticking up on your roof. And it's also a heat pump, and you've got a furnace as well. So you've got two ways to heat it and two ways to cool it if you count the dash air. Because the dash air keeps this whole van comfortable. You do have a small television right here with a DVD player. And these, these little booster seats are pretty much just useless except to make the bed. Unless you get somebody that's about two foot tall that can uh, sit in them. <laughs> you got a, quite a bit of storage too, guys. The 190 is not near as big as most of the vans I've been reviewing lately. So, of course, it's going to be a little bit more cramped in here, especially if you're my size. I'm 6'4", 315. Um, but... Once you get used to it, it's not bad at all. I drove one of these things for a while myself as, a, as, a, as an everyday driver. Um, then I've owned several conversion vans. So this is actually uh, very easy to drive and park. They can fit a regular parking space. They get good fuel mileage for a motor home anyway. And um, they're so versatile. You can use them for traveling vans. You can use them for camping vans. For you know, you got I mean, what what one two, one right here, two to three back here. About seven people. So you can you can actually haul about as many as an average conversion van. And um, you know you don't have to spend the night in it. In fact, y'all remember that one I did uh, about a week or so ago that uh road uh that era that we had to rebuilt title folks bought that they never intend to spend the night in it they're buying it for a traveling van to stay in a hotel that way they don't have to stop and use restrooms and and they don't have to eat at restaurants they can make their own food so that you know like i said there's a lot of different things you can do with a class b van besides just spending the night in it 
you know, you got kids going to sporting events, crank that generator up, turn your AC on, have a place to hang out in between games if they have tournaments, especially in the summertime. Have your own bathroom, your own kitchen, your own refrigerator. Make you something hot to eat, cold to drink. Have your own bathroom. I mean, you'd be the envy of everybody with something like this there. And have plenty of room to haul your kids and their equipment. <clears throat> as long as they don't have to be in a car seat. And um, so, like I said, great van for Sunday drives or weekend trips or cross-country trips, whatever. Um, that's why these vans are so popular. The van life movement has just exploded, especially since COVID hit. And I know van prices are expensive, guys. They're just as expensive for me to buy as for you to buy. And I got lucky and got this one where I can sell it at a decent buy. Um, I had a guy try to sell me a 2002 Road Trek 190 this morning. We refused to take less than $40,000 for it. For a 2002, I was like, I'm about to shoot a 2010, eight years newer with a lot less miles for 56.9. I said, wow. But anyway, and, that, and that's what you run into a lot, guys. These vans are super, I mean, people with 19, late 80s models vans are asking 20 to 30 grand for them for a uh, late 80s. This is a 2010, guys, relatively newer considering the average age of a van on the market today 56.9 haggle free firm we guarantee the refrigerator to work guarantee the roof air or the built-in air conditioner not the roof air and we guarantee the generator to run and put out and of course we do guarantee the um it to run and drive like it's supposed to and i drove it over here guy i just shot just a very casual drive video uh, me coming from the lot to here i didn't drive it on the interstate didn't really take it above 45 miles an hour because it's just a back road all the way over here so i'll, I'll probably put that up at the end if it doesn't look too terrible because i didn't have anybody filming me i was holding the camera and driving which i normally wouldn't do but it was about a mile mile and a half so it wasn't that big a deal um so i, I may include that on the end i may not if it looks too goofy once i get to my computer and look at it but uh, it does drive great, guys. And um, just a nice, comfortable van. And, boy, it's a pretty view out there. You know, that's what I like about a van. You can find little day-use parking areas and park at where you can't get a motorhome in and spend the day there, have a picnic, do some fishing or whatever. And um, you can't hardly do that with a Class A or a Class C. And that's why people pay the premium for these vans. Because you can take them places other other motorhomes can't go. And um, it's something you can boondock in. You've got a fantastic vent fan right there. Oh, I forgot to show you the bathroom, guys. I'm sorry. I get a little distracted when I get out here. So I may not do the best video job in the world when I'm over here. So, ah. But you do have a bathroom right here in... And this is your toilet. This does make a shower. And I'm going to try to describe this to you the best I can in here holding a camera with one hand. And first of all, you got a privacy screen right here. And uh, I'm not exactly 100% level. So you set that privacy screen up here. And of course, you'll have your back curtain closed. This panel right here at the bottom picks up and there's a shower drain underneath it. And then you've got a shower curtain that comes out and you can see you can kind of follow the track of the curtain that goes all the way around and that keeps your water from getting everywhere and of course you you pretty much sit on the toilet to take the shower um or i mean you can stand up depending how tall you are is it something you want to use every day no is it something, if, you, if you've been traveling for two or three days, you don't want to use a truck stop shower or a gym shower uh, that you would want to use just to feel better? Yes, it would feel like heaven then. But definitely not something you want to use every day. In fact, you know, in a van like this, if you were staying like at a campground, you'd be utilizing the bathhouse. Um, but it's something to use if you have to, and it's at least it's there if you want it. If you want to go through the time and trouble to use it, it's there. So, 
but it's something that you know there are alternatives to this shower as well like i said um you know i know some areas of the country the gyms are closed but if gyms are open in your area of the country you can get uh, uh one of those 15 20 a month gym memberships at one of the nationwide chains i'm not gonna mention no names but you can pretty much have 24 7 access to any of their locations and including their showers um I mean, you can go to truck, and I've used truck stop showers before too, guys. When I back when I was transporting them, they're not as bad as you think they are. Now I know I'm sure some of them are, but you stay at some of the national brands, the like the Pilots and stuff like that. I mean, they're expensive. They're ten, twelve, thirteen dollars, uh, but they they are generally very, very clean. But now you have to go in and pay for it, and they have to get the shower ready for you, and they call you when it's ready. So most of the time you can't just show up and say hey i want to take a shower and go right to a shower sometimes you can but a lot of times you can't so you have to wait sometimes 30 40 minutes so uh you know i usually do when i when i'm when i used to transport rvs i travel across country i'd go inside i'd park at the fuel island go inside get my shower set up go outside fill it up then go park it out of the way and then go back inside and uh, mess around in the store a little bit. And usually by that, my shower's ready. So, so there's a way to minimize your, your loss of time on a, on a shower like that. But, you know, of course, you always want to wear shower shoes. But uh, but it's not it's nothing near as bad as what people let on on YouTube and stuff like that. Trust me, guys. It's not. But, or you can use the shower in this. It's up to you. Ah anyway guys it's a nice van it's 56.9 haggle free firm i've actually got a few vans in i've got three or four left that haven't sold and um i'm glad to see it too you know at one time we'd, we'd carry 10 or 12 of these things at a time but the used vans but they are almost impossible to find and so many people are looking more people are looking for these vans than there are available so if you got questions about this particular one, our phone number is 706-965-7929. You can call anytime. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, 9 to 5 Eastern. Close Sundays for the Lord's Day and Family Day for our employees. So if, if you got a question about it or you want to buy it or check to see if it's available, which everybody needs to do before coming down to look at it, pick up the phone and give us a call. Um, and you can certainly email us if you want to, but for efficiency's sake, uh, always call. It's just easier. I mean, we're selling so many, you know, our inventory stopped back up to almost pre pandemic levels. Guys, we, my salespeople are just slammed every day. So keep in mind, they don't have a lot of time to spend behind a computer reading and writing emails. And I hadn't said this in a while, but there's a lot of truth to this statement. A five to 10 minute phone call with a salesperson, you'll gain more information than spending an hour or two reading and writing emails back and forth or messages back and forth. Always call guys. In fact, it's to the point now that my salespeople, when you do send an email, if, if there's not a phone number included in the uh, in the email they can call, they usually just ignore it because they just, they just don't have time. So I know it's old fashioned to call a dealer versus messaging or emailing but guys it's the most efficient way for us to conduct business to serve as many of our customers as we possibly can with the personnel that we have so uh, please call guys 706-965-7929 if you can't stop by and of course always call before stopping by if you're coming any distance to uh um make sure it's available and i do have a couple of other vans in stock on my website parkwayrvcenter.com i think this was the last one uh till some more come in anyway guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and get packed up get back to work unfortunately can't stay here all day <laughs> i wish i could <laughs> uh i guess you can call this uh my safe spot <laughs> when he gets too busy at work but thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it and i will try to come down here and shoot a few more videos when i can um but um if y'all have any questions feel free to call if you want to make a comment please feel free to comment share on social media smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video feel free to subscribe to my channel rv's a big bow and hit the bell notification button 
make sure uh, you, if you're on Facebook, go to my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bo. You can actually message me there. I don't usually take phone calls, and I'm not in sales, so I can't really, you know, sell you an RV. But I can answer questions, give you advice. You know, I'm in marketing, not sales, so I can't really do the sales. But I can try to help you with pretty much anything else. If you got questions about RVing or van life or or questions about um, buying an RV or selling an RV, just give me a message, guys. I mean, I've been doing this for 25 plus years. I've done every position you can think of. I've owned vans. I've owned motorhomes. I've owned a little bit of everything. I've lived in an RV. I have done way more than anybody else on youtube has that reviews rvs i can tell you that I've transported them i worked on them uh, i can give you a lot of i don't mind sharing that knowledge with you either and yes we do have financing available with approved credit and that price is plus applicable sales tax georgia residents also have to pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee in a, in a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that's Georgia residents only. We have no fees, no dock fees, no prep fees, happy camper fees, freight fees, none of that stuff, guys. Um, other dealers can add thousands of dollars to the advertised price and not tell you about it until you get ready to sign on the dotted line, and that's a common practice. But we put everything up front, guys. 56.9 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. Easy, simple, and done. No upsells. We don't make any money. On financing where other dealers actually mark the interest rate up over what you got approved for um, overcharging you by thousands of dollars on financing we don't do that guys I mean we just keep it easy simple and done it's 56 9 guys it's a haggle free price doesn't matter how you pay for it doesn't matter how far you come to get it you can finance through our, one of our lenders. You can go through your bank or credit union. You can pay cash. You can trade a combination of all that. It doesn't matter to us, guys. It's all the same to us. So, right there eliminates a lot of questions. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. I forgot these, uh, which I don't know how well I can show you. Again, <laughs> one-handed. This is a little fold-up table that when you swivel your front seats around... I can't really set it up all the way because of seats, but you get the idea. It sets up where you can move your seats around and have eating service for two people right here. And then you've got, don't, don't forget that table in the back but that sets up. It's a peg table where it sets up where that uh, hole in the carpet's at. That's where the peg goes. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Comments, feel free to leave them. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.